Hello, welcome back to the channel. We're on Sunday. I've just opened a pot of cream and not put the lid back on it. Two seconds. That's it. Yes, Sunday. I thought I'd have, make a cup of tea and have a little chat with you all. I did promise a, a new in beauty. There's not a great deal here, so don't worry. This vlog won't be as long as last week's. I think that was nearly an hour long. Oh my God, did any of you make it to the end of the film? I'd like to know. Um, I've only partly put my face on today because uh, I'm going to be sharing some new makeup and I thought we'd have a little try on. A couple of items here I've not even used yet. Um, and that's about it. I thought we'd just go for a few new bits. There's one thing that's really wowed me that I can't wait to share with you though. And it's amazing. So I'm going to take a slug of this tea and we'll crack on. It's so quiet here you could hear a pin drop. I know it's Sunday but everywhere is just... I can normally hear a bit of noise outside but it's just like I can't even hear the tree rustling it's so quiet I'm glad I've got this little vlog to do and my blog um, don't know if you know that I've already got a blog I've been blogging for five years um, I'd love you to pop over there actually and have a look that would be wonderful and the, the blogging this is just them from that blogging so I just thought it'd be a nice little new challenge. So I hope you can follow me and share this journey. Right, anyway, talking about tea. I get really bad teeth staining. All my bottom teeth are crooked. They all overlap um, and I hate them. I've, I am actually going to look into Invisalign. I could be their oldest customer yet to try and get their teeth straightened with braces but I've been thinking about that for a little while now but yeah because I overlap and I drink a lot of tea I do have the occasional cigarette as well Non tea I know but I, I don't drink alcohol I don't eat hardly anything all because of my allergies I've got to be naughty in something so there you go I've admitted it, I've put it out there, I do have the occasional cigarette, sorry. But, yes, so teeth staining, I do get a lot of teeth staining. And I was due to go just before this lockdown and, uh, of course, everything's shut, dentists are shut. You're lucky if you can get a dentist when you're screaming in agony, so I'm not going to get my teeth cleaned, I'd be too scared to go anyway. Um, so I was looking on Facebook, I think it was, and I see this little gadget on Facebook that cleans your teeth, you know, just like the ma machine that the dentist uses. And uh, I saved it and I found it on Amazon and I think it was £36, something like that, and I bought it. And before it arrived I thought, <clears throat> you know you see these gimmicky things. And it's cheap. I thought it's not going to work much probably, but I'll give it a stab. So it came, it came and here it is. There's no name for it, no brand name. I can li I'm going to leave the link down below. I bought this on Amazon. And this is my little teeth cleaner. And boy has it done an amazing job of cleaning my teeth. This has really blown me away. Um... It's not uncomfortable. I think because you're doing it yourself, if I, I'm terrible going to the dentist. I'm absolutely terrified of them. I've met a lady that I go to every six months and she cleans my teeth and gives them a thorough going over. And I will still be going when she opens. But um, this, I think because I'm in control and I can press as hard as I want. It's, it doesn't hurt, my teeth don't feel sensitive, but it has taken every bit of dark stain off of my teeth. I'm absolutely amazed. It's 
one of the best 36 pounds I've ever spent and I couldn't believe it because I was so sure it was going to be a piece of crap basically that wasn't going to work and the, it worked the first time I used it I could not believe it it comes with two bits so this is your primary bit Let's see if I can get that there it looks a little bit evil but you've got to remember all this is is a vibration it's a very very fast vibration just like in the dentist and that uh, it's not going to hurt you you like you can only hurt yourself um anyway there's the there's the flat one i've not i've not needed to use this one i guess that's for going down the front of your teeth i only had the problem there in in the uh, creases so yeah turn it on it's got three different pulses um three different levels so i've not even used the highest level i've just used it on number one there's a light so you can see what you're doing with your teeth in the mirror um and that's it so that is all it is a very uh just turn that light off see if i can press it so it's, it's turned it up now so i'm on level two but that look i can it doesn't hurt so that is it i think uh best 36 pound i have spent in a long time and you know i thought about everybody you know you're not getting dentist appointments either if there's something that's bothering you like your teeth staining there you go there's the trick i did manage to get my hair tinted so i was pleased about that but i am going to give it a good cut i've always cut my hair so tinting coloring your hair and cutting your hair it's not an issue for me and I'm really happy about that. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to buy my tint um, but I did manage to get it so I got no boots. I'm very happy. Right what next? A spa sent me a lovely little gift I don't know if you can see that there you go this is um soothing pulse Point oil and now I am a huge fan of the spa products I wrote a really good review for a moisturizer that I used to theirs and I am just working my way to getting that moisturizer again actually because I've thought long and hard about it it's expensive but it was worth it for every penny to me so I will be getting that but anyway they've actually gifted me this and I thought this was cute, it comes in a little pouch, a little handy pouch. Um, I think this is £20 this oil, it's going to last a long time. Uh, yeah, they do all different ones, there's uh, energising, the soothing one, um, reflection. There's four different ones, this one's rose, dra rose geranium, myrrh, frankincense, and there's another another ingredient as well but i can't remember sorry but yeah um i don't know if you've been like me a little bit uh, anxious about everything that's gone on i've been quite good most of the time but i've had my moments i've had a couple of moments where i've literally gone into a panic attack worrying about all this coronavirus and what's going on so when uh, I see this come through, I thought that is just so handy and it smells amazing. You just roll it onto your pulse point. And I, did, I actually didn't put it on my neck, I just used it on my wrist a couple of times through the day. And you know, when you felt a little bit hot up, instead of having a cigarette, I've been going, and it is, oh, take take a deep breath and it's really lovely and yeah a little bit relaxing when I got in bed I could smell it and it's really nice so yeah 
So yeah, something calming like that could do the trick for you. I was very impressed with that, you get that little pouch. So that's that. Uh, what else was I going to talk to you about? Um, I've just got a new Look Fabulous Forever palette. Um, this is the same as what I've used before. And uh, I thought I'd have a little change and use some golds or pinks. I'm going to have a little go actually. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to go for the middle one. Now the Look Fabulous Forever brand. Um, don't know if you know about it. I use a lot of their stuff. The Eye Prime. I've actually got that on now. It's all aimed at the over 50, or mature woman, I should say. And what I like about their products is that they don't use too much sparkle. Well, that's actually nice. I'm pretty sure I normally use the gold. Um, I'm going to go with the gold now, actually. Just a little bit in the middle there to lighten that lid up. Off. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. I wear my makeup really quite subdued, not not a lot of colour. But um, if I was going to be going out on the town, and I do want a bit of colour, I'm going to go in with that dark, and I'm going to go in with the creases. And I'll just stick that in there with that brush. I'm going to go over the top again with the gold. And that is a really nice palette. So you've got your day, your two day ones, and then you've got your night. What does it actually say on the back here what these colours are? No Shimmer Eyeshade Trio, uh, Soft Neutrals. I think they do a blue set and a brown set. And uh, it's re really lovely makeup. I recommend a lot of their, um, a lot of their items are on their site. If you follow me regularly, you will have seen I've done vlogs about full makeup, all sorts on there, so. Yeah, it's good stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I still use. I use the Eye Prime. That is absolutely amazing. I use, um, an, uh, what is it called? It's for your eyebrows. And it's like a tiny, tiny paint. Two seconds, let me get it. Right, I'm back. Um, I think I've spoken about this before. Maybe only a couple of vlogs ago. Bring back brow shape. Uh, if you've got sparse eyebrows, this is brilliant for that. It will literally paint on a hair. The brush is so fine, but I use it for eyeliner, um, not for not for a, a, a thick eyeliner. But I've got very sparse eyelashes, and it's great for that. So easy to put on. And what I did mean to mention. Talking about elbows, because I'm talking about the bring back brow shape um, and you need your elbows for a steady hand. I did the same with this, actually. I did find that a lot easier. Um, so, and a magnifying glass. So, you can just run it down there. And that's it. Need to clean that now. Yeah, so that's that's a tip there if you was to purchase that. Um, also, from Not Fabulous Forever, a new neutral lipstick, which I really like. Um, I'm going to try and show you the shade of this. Find my lip brush. <coughs> I use the Trivia London one. No, that's my shadow. I'm going to do half my lips because I've got other lipsticks to show you. This is going to be weird. Hmm. 
Mm, very nice. So it's very neutral. It's like one of those everyday wear lipsticks. Paint a line down the middle. <laughs> there you go. I really like that. Um, this isn't a shimmery one. They do, they do actually do some shimmery lipsticks. What's this colour called? Let's have a look. Glasses on again. Rosewood. Really like that. Right. Um, I've got some makeup to show you, and I just love the packaging of this makeup. So this is a uh, real her cosmetics and I love this lipstick it says don't know if you can see that sorry not sorry I just think that is so cool it's just such cool packaging and we have another neutral lipstick I think the um, real herd I think this is this is an American brand I need to look a little bit deeper into it it's only just arrived and I've not even used it yet so let's have a little and see what this colour's like. Let's get another lip brush this time. I think this is very similar to what I've got. Oh no. That one's a lot more pink. Nice. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's, I would say it's still like a neutral shade, but um, it's just got that hint more of pink in it. But I just love this packaging. That Instagrammable is that. Um, what else did we get? Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. I think this is a palette. Yeah, it's got the mirror in there. Bit dusty. I've not not used it yet. Um, very shimmery. A little bit too shimmery for me. Let's have a look. Let's have a little try of this gold. So I'm going to go in with this one, and that is called fabulous. Fabulous. One of my favourite words. Fabulous. Actually, it's not too bad. It's um, not as pigmented as I thought it would be. So it's caught on the lid there a little bit. Yeah, cute. Don't know what dark would be like. Let's try dark. Where's that brush? So I'm going to go in with Proud which is this one, Proud, so let's go in there it's a very rare occasion that I put dark colour on my eyes oh yeah, they look nice together just going to dab a bit more of that Fabulous on there. There you go. I've got very hooded eyes, so they say to put the uh, dark in the crease, don't they, to help lighten them up, lift them up, I should say. But I always just feel so overdone with heavy eye makeup on. But yeah, I quite like that. I like both. Which one's your favourite? Let me know. Definitely, for me it's this one because I've got the light on here. Right, and oh, we've got more eyeshadow here. 
so we're going to have a bit more of a play. Um, Revolution Pro, I absolutely rave about their foundations. Uh, I use the Conceal and Hydrate. I think it's seven or eight pound for a big bottle and it's amazing. I use it all the time and now I also use the Conceal and Hydrate concealer as well. I used to spend so much money on foundations and concealers and now I don't. It's very good. Right, so there you go with the Revolution Pro palette. There's some lovely colours in there. I've not used, I've used, uh, what have I got? I've got a neutral palette that I quite like from them. And I'm going to go in with some pink, I think. I'm going to try this pink here, which is, I have no idea. I don't think all the colours are listed. These palettes, they come just as they are. What I do find is the pigment's not too great. They're so cheap. Oh, that's not even gone on now. I don't like that. Let's try the light one next to it. Ah, oh, that's made a little bit different. Yeah, that's okay. If you like dark shades, I'll run along with them. A little try the white. That's nice. There you go. I always feel better with brighter eyelids. It just brings their eyes out that little bit. That's actually quite nice. I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't use a lot of these dark colours up. It's just that top lot that appealed to me. So yeah, but I mean for what you pay for Re Revolution Pro, I think this would cost about seven pounds. Um, what else have I got? The Real Her. More from Real Her. What is this? I am also this brilliant packaging, I love it. And what is this? Liquid Lipstick Lip Gloss. So we have a lipstick and lip gloss. Does this say anything? Oh, I am perfect. <laughs> I just love the packaging. My daughter would love this. Oh, this is like a paint. I'm not a lover of lip glosses. I use lipsticks mostly. What's this one? Oh, this is, oh god, that's well gooey. I'm not even going to attempt that. Let's try a little bit of this one. This looks okay. Wow, it covered all that pink. Now that is very nude. I like that. Hmm. So this is like a lip stain and then you pop the lip gloss over the top. I don't suppose I'm a very good vlogger if I don't try it, so let's have a go. Ugh. Oh, actually it's not as gloopy as I thought it would be. Oh, they're quite nice together. I still prefer the lipstick though. Uh, what else have I got? I think we're nearly done. Um, oh, Ark. This is what I wanted to tell you about. Ark sent me a couple of items. Uh, this one. Sorry, I'm going to have to put my glasses on again. Age Defy Nourishing Moisturiser. Formulated for your 50s onwards. I loved this. I used this. It's empty. I used it a couple of months ago. There might be a tiny, tiny bit in here. Look, you can see I've used it all because I was reviewing the Prey cream I'm just about to talk about. Um, you can really smell the roly in this. It's it's good stuff and it's very reasonably priced. Um, 
I've been using up for a couple of years now. The first thing that they sent me was a cleanser. It ponged so bad it completely put me off the brand. Um, and they emailed me and said, would you, would you like to try some more? And I thought, okay, we'll give it another go. And I got sent a few bits and this was one of them and I was really impressed, hence why it's empty. I'm hoping to get some more of that. I'm also looking for something with some really good uh, SPF in, so if you can recommend any, that would be good. I need, I want, I want about um, SPF 40, something like that, so that when that good weather does finally come, um, I've got some good protection, because I'm using retinol now, so I need, need something a little bit heavier. Anyway. They also sent this um, skin perfector. Now I love to use a good exfoliator and this feels absolutely gorgeous when you're using it but it does have an oil in it as well you can see. You can see the oil on my hand. Um, it does a brilliant job and it feels amazing after but you do have to cleanse after. So this isn't a rinse off moisturizer and then go. You can see the oil on my hand. But it is a beautiful exfoliator. I'm enjoying using that. And again, this is all formulated for the over 50s. Oh, formulated for all ages, this one. But, um, Exfoliating is so important, I think. I, I I use that once a week and I use um, the Kordali buffing cream every other day. So my, my skin routine has got actually quite big. I did write a post about it um, a couple of weeks back and I literally had to write a rotor of what I'm doing because I'm using retinol, I'm using glycolic I'm using different serums so yeah I think what I'll do is uh, every morning do a beauty routine and every night do a beauty routine it will be quite long but would you be interested in that seeing, seeing what I'm doing actually one of the things that I'm absolutely amazed with um, I've not even thought about showing you, so I'm just going to get that now. Okay, so I'm back. Here's my new handy little gadget. I use this, I, I'm using it three times, sometimes twice a week. And this is the Tria Laser Hair Remover. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, I've noticed a, a real difference. I actually wanted this for my face um, every morning I am so anal about it's one of the first things I do is look in the magnifying mirror to see how many new hairs I've sprouted on my chin chinny chin chin um, there's always two or three new ones to pluck out and it really has got me down this last couple of years um, I don't like waxing my skin all the time. I find it uh, sensitizes my skin. So I've just carried on with the plucking. And then I saw this from uh, Tria and I asked them if it was okay for the face. You can use this on any hair on your body, your armpits, your legs, anywhere. Um, not down below, I guess. Uh, yeah, and they said, yeah, it works on the face. I couldn't wait to try this. There you go. So I've just activated that. You normally have to turn it on and then you put on a piece of skin and that will unlock it. Because obviously it's a lazy, you can't have children getting hold of this. Um, and that is all it is. So there you go. And I just go along my chin. And all you can feel is a little bit of heat.
Oh, it's because it hit a crease. And that is all I do. So I've just been running around there. The other one up there. I did find I've got capped front teeth at the top. And I did find just this very top part here. It felt uncomfortable. It's like it was heating the metal up inside my caps or whatever. Whatever there is, it wasn't comfortable. So I don't use it right on that top bit there. Um, anyway, within a, I've been using this now for a good couple of months, but I would say within the first couple of weeks, I noticed a difference. Um, I'm not getting hardly any hair. I'm still getting the odd one or two, but nothing like I was getting and I think this is an amazing little gadget I keep meaning to uh, do one of my underarms I'm going to do that I think just so that I can see for sure how well it works so I'm going to do that I think but I thought it's very time consuming isn't it I dread to think how long it would take you to do your leg but I guess it saves shaving and or waxing but for me killing those hairs on my face it has made me very happy so that is the tria laser hair remover really pleased with that so that's it oh the prey um i've just written a post about this and i did actually mention it on my blog on, on and i did actually mention it on the vlog last week i've just uh done a whole month of using the new Prey Platinum skincare range which I found quite enjoyable um, there's actually platinum in these uh, serums and the creams um, there's some really good ingredients in them and you can read all about it on, on their website I'll leave a link below but I was quite pleased with them um, it says that they're firming and lifting I didn't notice any lifting but very hydrating so this is the uh, day cream put that on there what, what did impress me was the night cream <clears throat> got a funky throat today <clears throat> the night cream look it's just so firm that is going to last forever well a long time anyway i can't put that on there i've got the exfoliator on um and i was really impressed with this i, I woke up with lovely hydrated skin in the mornings i'm still going to carry on using this i don't think i will the day one but i will the night one yeah i really liked it thought that was very good but like i said i didn't notice any lifting but I did notice my skin was lovely and nourished after using that. Yeah. So I enjoyed I will still use these as well, the serums, they've been very good. And I think Prey is a very economical brand. It's not expensive at all. If you're looking for a cream that's gonna help, that's not gonna break the bank, definitely have a look at those. And while you're there, look at the neck cream. Hang on, I'll get the neck cream. This is uh, my fourth, no, third jar of this neck cream. I reviewed this last year and it is amazing. I will not be without that neck cream. I've noticed such a difference. Puppy's trying to come in. I'll see if she'll settle down. I think she will. Right. I think we're done. I think we're done. It's not such a long vlog this week. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, any questions, fire away at me about this stuff. Um, if you need to get a teeth cleaning kit, make it that one. It's amazing. Um, if you need to relax, this bar rollerball could be a good way to go. And I've got some lots of different colours on my eyes. I actually quite like this real hair. What have I got? 
three different colours on there now, but I quite like that. So, see you next week. Um, like I said, any questions on any of these items, give me a shout in the inbox, in the uh, comments below. I'd only be too pleased to help. Thank you for watching and see you next week.